Hello, my natural hair sisters. Okay, this is the third time I'm trying to do this video. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua, I pray that this goes through. Okay, so I'm coming to you with a video telling you about my favorite leave-in conditioners and DIY deep conditioner. I just came back from my doctor's. I have a full thickness rotator cuff tear in my left arm, so it's very difficult to comb my hair and to style it. So and wash it. So I have revised the way I take care of my hair for now. So um, as I said, I just came back from my doctor. So since I've had this injury, I just style the front of my hair and the back of my hair. I leave in two strand, two strand twist, and then I put a satin cap over it. This is what I've been doing. I used to like. I still do. I love to wear a French roll in the back, like a updo, but um, it's too painful. So this is what I do. So what I do is I wash my hair every two weeks prior to um, this injury, and I did have surgery. Unfortunately, um, it couldn't be repaired. My orthopedic surgeon said I have a massive tear that can't be repaired. So right now I'm getting physical therapy. So in the meantime, how I care for my hair is instead of washing it more than twice a week, like every seven days, every ten days, I stretch it out always now for every two weeks. And lately, I've been washing my hair with Shea Moisture. I've been using this for a couple months now. It lasts a really long time. I always wash my hair twice after each shampoo. Always twice. Um, I want to say something a little bit about that. I've seen a lot of hair blog bloggers say they just concentrate on the scalp and they just clean their scalp. That, I'm sorry, logically, that does not make sense to me. Um, I'm a, I, it just doesn't make sense. I'm a clinical pharmacist and I don't know if this has anything to do with the fact that I know chemistry or, you know, how things work. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. You, their hair also is exposed to the elements, okay? It's exposed to dust. It's exposed to dirt, you know, uh, buildup of product. Your hair needs to be washed, too. So when I shampoo my hair, I really get in my scalp. But then I just don't leave the ends alone. I mean, come on. I just don't leave the ends alone. So, um... I, I shampoo my scalp, and then I also shampoo the uh, entire hair, all my hair strands. And then I rinse that out, and then I will do it twice. And I, I, I still don't understand. That's something, you know, if you think about it, when we were little, our mothers never, never just used to shampoo our scalp. Yeah, okay, your hair is more prone to get dry, uh, but now we're using sulfate-free shampoo. To be honest, sometimes I will use a sulfate shampoo. And it's okay as long as you re-moisturize your hair with a deep conditioner. But it's important to clean all of your hair. Not just your scalp, your hair too. And there is a difference. I notice, like, because now I can only wash my hair every two weeks, um, my hair is not as shiny as it is when I first wash it. So that tells me that there's product filled up or it's, it's dirty. You know what I'm saying? So you've got to get rid of all that product build up, uh, you're in the elements, uh, pollution, all kinds of stuff that can get in your hair. It's extremely important. I can't stress enough how important it is not just to wash the scalp. And some of my favorite hair vloggers also, um, this has become popular that I'm seeing, and I'm not putting anything, anyone down, and maybe this helps with them. And they talk about, well, the suds just runs down the hair strands, but that's dirty suds, okay? That's all the debris and stuff you have worked out of your scalp is now going down your hair shaft and your hair strands. So your hair strands are still not clean. So you have to wash your scalp and also make sure you wash your hair as well. It needs washing. So anyway, I'm sorry, as you can see, that's a little pet peeve of mine because it just doesn't make, make sense. And uh, some of the things that I am seeing uh, that's being advised for how to care for natural hair just doesn't make sense, and that's one of them. But I'm going to get off of that, so that's what I've been using. Now, I wash my hair, as I said, every two weeks, and lately I've been using this. I wash my hair twice. After I wash my hair, I dry my hair, um, you know, either with a, a t-shirt or towel. I really don't notice any difference in frizziness or whatever if I use a towel, so most of the time I just use a towel. And then I section my hair in four parts, and I will proceed to a deep leave-in conditioner. And I always make my own. I usually buy a very cheap conditioner, you know, like Tresemme, something that 
costs like four dollars and something but i make sure it says moisture rich hydrating you know something that's uh for damaged hair or something that's really going to get the moisture back in your hair i use that i use about a half a cup of that and i add to it a tablespoon of olive oil a tablespoon of jojoba oil and a tablespoon of sweet almond oil and then i use two essential oils my favorite is clove oil and tea tree i like tea tree because i have an itchy scalp my scalp tends to itch and that just feels so soothing and relaxing so i use that so i whip all that stuff up together and then i put it in the four sections of my hair i put on a plastic cap and sit under a, a hair dryer bonnet for an hour on low heat for 30 minutes and then i will put it on uh no heat uh cool for another 30 minutes and then after that i go back in the shower rinse all that stuff out of my hair uh rinse the conditioner out of my hair and proceed to prep my hair for styling and for styling my hair what i do is i use a carrier oil um my favorite lately has been jojoba oil but if you like sweet almond oil or castor oil whatever you like you can use that put a little bit on each section okay and then what i do is i put in a leave-in conditioner my favorite leave-in conditioners have been lemongrass leave-in conditioner i really like that but um the scent i like it because it's light and it really melts the tangles away but it's kind of strong and i'm getting a little tired of the scent you can see this is almost gone so i really like it i've been using it i don't know how long and the other one i like a lot is called mixed chicks leave-in conditioner again it's really light and it's uh I think it has silk amino acids in it and it just melts the tangles away. It's awesome. I love this stuff. However, I recently purchased on amazon.com TGIN green tea super moist leave-in conditioner. I really like it. I like the scent. It works just as well as the others, but there's more product, okay? There's more product and I just really like it. So I'm actually thinking about trying the whole TGIN line. Uh, when this shampoo from She Moisture, when I run out of this, I'm going to buy um, my shampoo from TGIN. Okay, so after I put the deep leave-in conditioners in my hair, I proceed to prep for styling my hair. I like to wear my hair um, right now, as I said. You know, this is that. And this is a flexi rod set. So after I put in the leave-in conditioner, I just put flexi rods on it. This is not a flexi rod or anything. This side of my hair, I just pull up, twist, and then secure in place. I do that with both sides. The back of my hair, I put two strand twists, and I leave it like that, and I will recomb those two strand, two strand twists once or twice a week to remove the shed hair and um, to re-moisturize if I need to. But this, you know, this part of my hair is... A different texture or whatever than the other part of my hair than the rest of my hair it's, it's interesting um like it never needs to be re-moisturized never and I first I didn't know why but then when I filmed this before and lost my footage it came to me that people with a looser curl pattern say like Caucasian people or whoever their their hair because of the the structure of their hair or whatever the their sebum comes down their oil strands, and uh, so their hair tends to get oily. So they have to wash their hair more often than people with Afro-textured hair like us, because if they don't, their hair would be really stringy and oily, and that's because uh, their hair texture, the, the oil, the sebum, can naturally, it just glides down. And I think because this, not all seeing my hair is straight, but this is a looser curl pattern, I'll show you if you want me to, it... Uh, and if you look at one of my videos where I did wash my hair, you could see it's, um, you see, this is the curl pattern in the front. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty loose. Uh, I would say it's probably 3D. Anyway, I think that's the difference. And this is the only part of my hair that I think is that, you know, that's the loosest. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I think that's, that's why I never, I never have to re moisture Just a little section in there. I never have to re-moisturize it until I wash it again, unless I want to. Now, okay, so, as I said, I, um, I re-moisturize my hair once a week, and usually the back, I keep this on, 
when I go out, when I'm home, I don't care. I don't care. My husband doesn't care. And I just walk around like that. But this I wear if I have to go out to cover the back of my hair. Once a week, I will take out these. And it's like one, two, three, four. Okay, so all this part of my hair is covered. One, two, three, four. And it's in a two-strand twist. Okay. And actually, I just moisturized my hair yesterday. So it doesn't need it today. And my hair never gets too dry. Like the only part that I would say that needs like uh, a water-based substance would be the ends. But here, this is my favorite. I love this stuff. This is called Jamaican Mango and Lime. Jamaican black castor oil. It's lighter than other black castor oil. This has coconut, so it has a coconut scent to it. And it's orange. So I take a little bit of that. I dab a little on. I don't need to do it now because I did it yesterday. And I just, um, I think I comb my hair first. Yeah. And then um, I would dab it on. You know, I just dab it on. And usually I will have to the ends, I would have to put like a leave in. In fact, um, as I said, this is my second time doing this video, so I don't know what happened to the footage, but I actually did damp this again just so I could show you what I do. And I don't want to do it again because I already, as I said, I put some, um, I put a little bit of this on there to show you what I did. I just put a little bit on my hands and I show you the part of my hair that tends to get driest. And I just rub, rub, rubby dub dub. <laughs> Rubby dub 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 it in. And if I I if I neglect um retwisting my hair at least once a week, it will get dry. Okay? And so in that and it will get tangled. So I have to uh comb out the tangles. Um I I normally don't use like a water based substance or a leave in to, to detangle my hair. I just don't find that's necessary, but it really helps a lot of women. And I say go for it. In fact, if I have some stubborn hair that um, doesn't want to detangle, usually I can detangle it with my hand and comb it. I will put a little uh, leave-in moisturizer on it. But I'm usually just combing it. And I have a video about that, how I detangle my dry hair. So that's okay. And then as I even say in that video, usually it's the ends that need uh, to be... Uh, have like a water-based substance on it and that's what I do. So I did that yesterday. There's no reason to do it today. So yeah, that's my routine. Um, again, lemongrass, excellent, highly recommend it. Mixed chips, I love this stuff. But now, I want to switch on to this. It's a lot. I really like it. I want to try this. I'm going to try something different. And as I said, when my um, shampoo, my She Moisture shampoo, when it's all gone, I'm going to try the TGI in line. What else? Oh, okay, so that's how I um, take care of my hair now, particularly in the state that I am, that um, I can't wear a lot of fancy hairdos. What I do once a month, okay, let me talk about my DIY treatments. I deep condition my hair every time I wash it. I wash it every two weeks. Once, one time during one wash day, I will take a, a cheap, Conditioner. I don't use anything expensive. Something like Tresemme. Something that only costs like $4.99. But the important thing, it has to say uh, uh, moisture, moisture rich, uh, hydrating. And I have to see, you know, in the ingredients, things that would uh, cause your hair to be really moisturized. And then that's what I would buy. But again, I don't pay much for it because that I add things to it. I take a half a cup of that. And I will add about a tablespoon, maybe a little more, of olive oil. I love that carrier oil. I'll use a tablespoon of hojiba oil and a tablespoon of almond oil. That's what I do. And then I add two essential oils. I love clove oil because of the scent and uh, tea tree oil because I have an itchy scalp. I mix that up together after I wash my hair and after I pat it dry with a towel or um, an old t-shirt. I section it into four sections, and I just work that stuff in. I work it into my hair, and then I wrap it and secure it in four uh, sections. And then I put a plastic cap on my hair, and I sit under a bonnet, a heated bonnet, electric dryer, but it's a bonnet, for an hour. 30 minutes on low heat, and 30 minutes on cool. Okay, so that's what I do. 
once a month. Yeah, once a month. Now, the next time I wash my hair, so I deep condition my hair twice a week each time I wash it, I use a clay mask. And I have been using Rosala clay mask and Fuller's Earth. And what I do is I usually take a half a cup of that, okay? And I use, I don't know, I really don't measure how much water I put in there, but I, I, uh, I soften up with water, you know. I then add the same carrier oils, like a uh, tablespoon of olive oil, tablespoon of holdable oil, tablespoon of sweet almond oil or castor oil, and my favorite two essential oils, but whatever. Some people like peppermint. Whatever essential oil you like, you know, that's what you can use. And, uh, but you, it's, it's, it's clay. You, you have like, it's like a mask. So it, it goes on thicker than a regular conditioner. And what I like about doing that once a month, it really seems to improve the health of my hair. It, um, it defines my curl pattern more and gives it even more sheen. But there's a game changer here. Now, I'm going to link this video to this. But what I used last time, again, I haven't deep conditioned my hair with clay mask. Um, and also, this is like a, um, a lot of people use this as a detox. But I just use it as a clay mask. I don't know. I use it as a clay mask. So maybe it's deep conditioning my hair and uh, detoxing my hair at the same time. I don't know. But I use this. It's a half cup of this. And then I add uh, apple cider vinegar. I don't remember how much apple cider vinegar. I, I, I think I just eyeball it. You know, it gets really um, bubbly. And then um, I use a little bit of water because I don't want to use all apple cider vinegar to mix it up. And then, again, I add a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of potable oil, a tablespoon of sweet almond oil, my favorite two essential oils, which is clove oil and tea tree. And then I'll add just a little bit, you know, just maybe a tablespoon of, again, I like the texture of um, conditioners. So I bought this. I know I said I use cheap conditioners, but I actually bought this because I love mango and lime, Jamaican black castor oil. So I said, let me try the conditioner. And I put like a tablespoon of this inside of my um, bentonite clay mixture the last time I used the clay in my hair. And I love the results. You can look at that video. I'm going to link it here to show up when I finish talking. And yeah, so as I said, this is a game changer. I think this is superior to Rosala clay. Uh, this is bentonite clay. Azitic secret healing clay. I've heard a lot of uh, women with Afro texture hair talk about this um, stuff and so I went and got it. In fact, you can see I got a big jar. I had a much smaller jar and I still have some, but I liked it so much I wanted to stock up on it. This thing, it defines my curl more so than Rosala clay and even more so than um, Fuller's Earth. And it also makes my hair extremely shiny, more so than the other two clays. I don't know what it is about that, but it is just extraordinary. It really is. And sometimes I will put vinegar in my Rosala clay mixture too. I should put that out there, but I don't know. But this is now my new favorite clay. So this is my clay mask. So I do a clay mask once a month, okay? And then a regular deep conditioner as I described. And that's about it. So those are my favorite products, except I forgot to show you this. I love this stuff. I use this like to lay down my hair if I want my hair to be have really smooth appearance. A lot of people use Eco Scholar Gel. I tried it one time, but I didn't like it because it made my hair feel hard. And I don't like hard hair. I like my hair to feel really soft. So I tried this. I get it off of the internet on Amazon. It's very expensive, but it's worth it. This is over two years old. You can see I still have a lot because I don't use much. I just take a little and I, I put, okay, like here. See my hair sitting up in the back. I put just a smooth, see? It smooths it down to give it a more slick appearance, okay? So you put it in the back. That's all I do. And then I would brush it, put it on the sides, put it on the sides. And then, um, yeah, then I would take a brush and just brush it, brush it. And that's it. That's it. So that's my hair care routine. The other thing I wanted to say is um, I think porosity, people um, 
talk about hair patterns and all that porosity, I think it's really important because your porosity tells you how well uh, a product will absorb into your hair. I have low porosity hair. And you can test your porosity by taking a strand of hair, just take it out of your hairbrush or comb, and putting it in a cup of water, or just see if it sinks to the bottom, you have high porosity hair. If it floats on top, you have low porosity hair, which means it's really, really hard for products to really get into your hair shaft. So um, that's why, one of the reasons why I, when I decondition my hair, I sit under a bonnet so the heat can help it to really penetrate. In fact, before I even wash my hair, I should have mentioned this, I do what they may call a pre-poo, and I do this because of my low porosity hair. I, I, I saturate my hair with water, and then I'll take um, a, a cheap conditioner and just put that on there a little so when it's time for me to wash it, I take my bath, you know, when it's time for me to wash my hair, that stuff is really soaked in my hair. I don't have to worry about trying to get the water through, getting the water through, because it's already been done. So it's, it's really awesome. It's really awesome to know your porosity. It really is. That way you, you know how to take care of your hair. As far as, um, what is it, some hair patterns? Hair types, hair types. I'm not really into the hair typing system. I think it caused division in the um, African American community. All hair is so beautiful to me. African hair is beautiful to me. No one has hair like African people or people of African descent. All hair is unique. I mean, it's more, it's different than anyone on this planet. Um, if I had to type my hair, I would say I have three types of hair, three hair types. I would say this is probably um, more like a 3B, I don't know, and uh, the rest of my hair is 3C, 4A. So I would classify my hair as 3B, 3C, 4A. And again, all hair is beautiful. I love to watch videos of girls with um, um, 4C hair. So shout out to Nappy Fu. I love Nappy Fu. I don't know if you're watching this, but I love you. She's so funny. She makes me laugh, and she gives really good advice. I like her. I love Whitney a lot. I used to, um, in fact, uh, Whitney is the first person I, Whitney, uh, Natural 85. She's the first person that I looked up when I started doing my hair, uh, taking care of my natural hair, and I learned so much from her. So she's another person I give a shout out to, and there's so many more. But anyway, Happy New Year. God bless you, and I hope this video helped you. You take care now. Bye.